Scientists can't predict earthquakes to a date and time, but they do know when a fault is under stress and strain. The Enriquillo Plantain Garden Fault Zone sits between the North American and Caribbean tectonic plates. It passes directly through the island of Española to Jamaica. Large quakes have hit the fault before. The most recent took place in Jamaica in 1907. That is, until January 12th, when a magnitude 7.0 earthquake struck Haiti, killing hundreds of thousands. Seismic faults store energy from the slow movement of tectonic plates. Earthquakes relieve the strain by releasing that energy in brief, often devastating bursts. In 2008, a team of geologists predicted that, if all the energy stored in the Enriquillo Plantain Garden Fault Zone were released at once, a large earthquake of magnitude 7.2 could hit the region. What we did was take a very first important step towards better quantifying the seismic hazard along that fault. So the fault um, was recognized as being an active feature by looking at its uh, signature through the landscape. And then the next step, and this is pr uh, predominantly uh, Eric Calais at Purdue and his team, going out there and establishing GPS monuments where they were able to measure very precisely how much strain was accumulating across that fault. And it's really that GPS experiment that led to the statement that strain is accumulating and exactly how much and how fast, and that given the history in that area, that led to the conclusion that a magnitude seven was possible at any time. But of course, we didn't know, nobody could know um, exactly when it was going to happen, or exactly where it was going to happen, or exactly what the magnitude would be. Locally, the Hayward Fault Zone, also a strike-slip fault, hasn't had a large earthquake since 1868. In many ways, the Hayward Fault is similar to the Enriquillo Plantain Garden Fault, in that they are both accommodating plate motion, and they're both strike-slip faults, so the dominant sense of motion is horizontal. It's been enough time that it's accumulated enough strain that it is also ready to produce a magnitude 7 earthquake. We don't really know when to expect that, um, but we do know that it will happen eventually. I don't know whether we'll ever be able to actually predict earthquakes. It's certainly a goal uh, that we have in, in the scientific understanding of earthquakes. And in terms of being able to be prepared, there's a lot that people can do to make plans for what to do when a large earthquake happens and to make sure that whatever building you are living in or working in is uh, going to be able to survive a large earthquake.